halfway through the heat race at I-35 Speedway with the Midwest Lightning Sprints. We're leading the heat race right now. We have a very good car and this track is just hammered down. Like we are burying the car into the corner, both ends just wide open. And we finally figured out our tacky track setup, which is amazing because we've been trying to find how to set up the car on a hammered down track all year at CMS, I-35, some at Nevada, just everywhere. Trying to figure it out, we finally figured it out tonight. And the car is just handling like a beauty. It just goes in the corner, turns by itself, comes out of the corner, so much drive. I mean, I barely even have to turn the wheel. And it's, it just drives around the corner, amazing. But we have a mechanical failure at like with two laps to go and the right rear shock comes off and it just sends the car bucking up in the air. And I would try and save it like whenever the car was up in the air, I'd hit the brakes. Whenever the car went down and smacked the ground, I'd hit the gas to try and get it to drive out of it. But it just started bucking too much from the spring unloading on it. So... The last big buck before the left side dug was uh, a pretty hard, pretty hard hit, and I was staring directly at the ground, and then I felt my wheels turn to the left, and then I felt my short side of the car digging the ground, and it just went flipping so fast. <laughs> I would just really like to thank Kenny for hitting the wall and flipping his car and getting a concussion just so that we didn't hit cages because if we hit cages that's that's a bad deal so I just really like to thank Kenny right here making that quick decision and uh, doing what he had to do after this heat race the car comes in on the wrecker and me and dad start analyzing what's wrong with the car and whenever you really look at it, it really wasn't that much wrong with the car. But me and dad busted hump all intermission to get the car somewhat ready to go run without a wing and tag the back of the A main. So that's what we did. And we didn't really have very high expectations of doing well racing without a wing against other winged cars. But we still went out there, gave it our best shot, didn't end the season with a low note by flipping the car. We went out there, finished out strong. I would just like to thank Dad so much for everything he did tonight. And I would just like to thank all my sponsors that helped me throughout the season of 2023. And that is V-Twin Vapors, 7-1, Scotty Signs and Wraps, and Mid-America Dentex. I just would like to thank all of them, and I would really like to give a big shout out to Bob Douglas with Rod and Supply for being the series promoter of Midwest Lightning Sprints, and thank you Tom Frank also for helping promote Midwest Lightning Sprints, giving us a place to race every weekend with bad fast cars. These cars are so cheap to race, but so much fun, and they're usually the fastest thing at the track. Just really appreciate all the people that helped me get to the track and get to racing and doing what I love. I am really thankful for all of you guys. And thank you for a great 2023 racing season.